Helena, Peter, and Jalen. I like to see a man proud of the place in which he lives. I like to see a man live so that his place will be proud of him. Other words by Abraham Lincoln. Dear audience, let me introduce you to my partners, Peter and Jalen. And also, I would like you to meet our guest visiting us today. Her name is Mary, and we are in the State Pharmacy Commission program. She's one of the best students I've ever met. So, since all of us, Peter, Jalen, and Mia, happen to be born in different countries, not in the US, we decided to talk about patriotism today. And today, first you'll hear about patriotism in general, its history. Then we'll talk about our personal experience from our lives, what patriotism means to each of us. And finally, you'll get some information about uh, interesting facts about America, Ukraine, and Kenya. So yesterday you heard some speech delivered by um, Jody and Victoria. And Victoria shared with you some interesting information about patriotism and its history. I want to get your attention one more time to today and I want to talk about it a bit more. So patriotism is a love to, of or loyalty to one's country. The word patriotism is of Greek origin and uh, it represents fatherland. For most of history, this love of fatherland or homeland was mostly associated with the physical features of the land. But in the 18th century, the meaning changed. And um, people started thinking about customs, traditions, history when they were talking about patriotism. And later, the ideals of communism, democracy, and socialism were added to this concept, to this meaning. Now I want to talk about my personal experience from life and what patriotism means to me. I want to show you some pictures. The pictures that were taken back in Ukraine and it was my life before I moved here to the States. Because now my whole life has to be split between two countries, between US and uh, Ukraine. And it's even more complicated because the feelings I have towards both countries are different. You can define a patriot as someone who loves his or her country and is devoted to it. I really love my country, Ukraine, <laughs> and I will mm. always do it. <laughs> But uh, right now I live in the States and uh, my all goals and ideas are centered here in this country. <laughs> as you know, I moved to the States for about three and a half years ago. And uh, at the beginning, it was really difficult to get used to this life taught up here. I left my friends there in my country my now ex-husband and I love my whole life there and time goes by and it's not that it doesn't feel that difficult anymore to me to adapt to a totally new life here and before I couldn't recognize myself I couldn't get used to this life and I felt being just like as a robot my whole body and soul were just split apart and with time, I'm just getting used to it, and I can't stop by wondering how great and wonderful a human being is. You can literally adapt to, get used to, or be able to do almost everything. It just takes some time, energy, and effort, and you have to be patient, of course. So now, I would like to talk about my country, Ukraine, a little bit. <laughs> um, Ukraine is not known very 
very well in Europe. And not many people recognize that Ukraine is the biggest country in Europe. It's bigger in size than France and it's similar in population to Great Britain. Unfortunately, not many people take Ukraine seriously, despite its long and turbulent history. Now Ukraine is an independent state, uh, but to achieve it, it has been a long and difficult struggle. Ukraine is located between um, Poland and Russia. And Poland would like Ukraine to establish good connections with other European countries, while Russia would like to make some kind of a union with Ukraine. Ukraine is divided into two parts. So there is western part of Ukraine and eastern part of Ukraine. In western part, people consider themselves to be Ukrainians, true Ukrainians. They speak Ukrainian, they think Ukrainian, they feel Ukrainian, and they are more patriotic there. While in eastern part of Ukraine, People speak Russian, they think Russian, they feel Russian, and they would not really mind if Ukraine joined Russia again. I am from the eastern part of Ukraine, that is why I speak Russian. And I, I really love both Ukraine and Russia. I have many relatives in Russia, and I go there every year. So, The independence of Ukraine was declared on the 24th of August, 1991. And um, my moving to the States has changed my life. Sometimes I wonder, sometimes I go back in my memories and I'm not sure if it was worth it at all. But uh, especially if I have some problems, especially if I'm experiencing problems here, but I'm sure I did the right choice. I made the right decision. Because now I am more determined to stay here and make my dreams come true. But still, I'm thinking about Ukraine every day and I wish I had an opportunity and chance to visit it in the near future. Thank you. My choice because since I was a little kid my dad used to talk about America all the time and my brother my brother and me were influenced by his ideas his thoughts but when we were getting older growing up my brother said to me once we we don't have to listen to our dad anymore we are grown up so we can make our own decision but still we're influenced and so my, my, my family moved here, and um, of course, we as kids moved here with my family. But now we have a choice, we have a decision whether to stay here or to go back. And my brother still, he, um, he's not really sure whether to stay here or not, but he looks to be pretty much more adapted here than me. But still, he, he has this nostalgia for, for our country. You plan on moving back soon? Or? I am, so I used to go back to Ukraine every year, so I know what life is there right now. But my brother, he didn't go there for three years already since he moved here. And I think when he goes there, he will change his opinion because it's not as before. The life there is not as before as we got used to it. Yes. So you're not married anymore? No. Good question. Good question.